What is going on my dudes and dudettes? It's Sean here with Arsenal Serpentarium. I'm just going to do a quick little video today. You know what it's about because you've seen the title. If you haven't seen the title then how are you here? <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we're just going to talk real quick about quarantining. I'm chilling you with my Chinese beauty snake. She's uh, one of the very fit. He actually, sorry, he's one of the very famous mascots on the channel, and for very good reason, as you can see there. I'm just getting out the camera so it auto focuses on him better. <laughs> but yeah, he's an amazing snake. And uh, as always, guys, if you're new around you, make sure you subscribe and smash that, that notifications icon. Um, you you don't want to miss any content that I'm producing you. Um, and if you like the video, obviously like the video. Any video requests, post below and I'll see what I can do. Alright, so getting straight into it, quarantining. Now, before we uh, before we set off on how to quarantine, I just want to tell you why it's important to quarantine. So quarantining your snakes then basically just means um, keeping the snakes away from the, the rest of your collection. Um, and you do that to make sure the snake is healthy, um, make sure it doesn't have any problems or ailments, make sure it doesn't have any parasite burdens, no mites, no respiratory infections, nothing wrong with it at all that could possibly end up spreading to your collection. Um, and obviously this is key then to preserve the health of your collection if there is something wrong. So you should always quarantine for at least 21 days, um, four to six weeks is better. Um, and in that time then you're keeping a very close eye on it to make sure there's nothing wrong. Most times you get a new snake, there, there isn't gonna be anything wrong, but there's always that one time then, and then you know you, you, your uh, snake collection gets decimated, which has actually happened to a friend of mine. So what, what you should keep your eye out for in quarantine then is no sign of sickness. It should be eating and drinking well. Um, the You know, the feces and stuff like that should look normal. Shouldn't be any um, any black mo you know black dots crawling around on the paper or anything like that. It shouldn't be excessively soaking itself in this water bowl. Um, no signs of our eyes or no bubbling around the mouth. It should be active and tongue flickering. It shouldn't be wheezing when it's breathing. It shouldn't be showing any sign of weight loss if it's eating. Um, it should obviously be eating. Um, yeah, it should just be, you know, like any other snake in your collection. Um, you should know what a healthy snake looks like by now if you've been keeping a little while. But if you haven't, then, um, then just have a look at some examples of whatever snake your um you're actually keeping um on youtube and stuff so you can see what a healthy snake looks like but it's got nice bright eyes normally quite active like this boy is you he's starting to calm down a bit now because i've had him out for a good half an hour or so so he's starting to get a little bit bored but uh, lovely and tame as you can see so what you're going to do to quarantine is you're going to keep it as far away from your current collection as possible ideally in a separate building if you can not everyone can do that so um just a separate room with that you know minimum like ventilation going into the uh into the main room the uh quarantine procedures i like to use i like to keep them in tubs on on paper so if it's got any mites or you know being sick or anything like that any respiratory infections then you can see it straight away and any problems with the feces you can see that straight away um, and it's very easy to clean out so that's that's what i like to do personally um i i keep my snakes in my garage actually it's all been insulated properly and stuff by me um and then what I do when I quarantine is I actually keep them in my house so then it is a separate building. And what you want to do on feeding days or handling days or cleaning days, whatever the case may be, always do your main collection first. Um, so you want to come up, feed your main collection or clean them or whatever the case may be, handle them, whatever you want to do. And then and only then do you go handle your quarantine animals.
And the reason for that, guys, is if you go handling your quarantine animals and say they've got mites, those mites are going to jump onto you and then they're going to be in your new, in your old collection, um, you know, your main collection of snakes then. So you just as well not bothered quarantine in the first place then. Um, and that's why really what I like to do as well if I'm hanging out in a pet shop for a few hours I like to actually change my clothes before I come up to my snake room um, Not because of the pet shop or anything like that It's because customers they might have mites in their collection They might come in and then those mites jump off that person onto me So it's better safe than sorry really guys with with uh, quarantine and you know keeping that uh, keeping disease out of your collection It is always better safe than sorry as I said, I just use a tidy size uh, plastic tote with a heat mat, um, and that, that that suffices for the for the amount of time you keep animals in quarantine. It's worth noting as well, guys. If you've bought a boa um, and you've got pythons, it could be worth either permanently keeping that animal in quarantine or away from your python collection or at least doing it for six months to a year because they could have ibd or perhaps even test it for ibd um because ibd can decimate uh p pythons and, and many boas have it but don't show any signs of it so um yeah that's definitely worth knowing um but you know it's quite common but it's not every boa has it you know what i mean so, but it's, it's just something I thought I'd tell you so that at least you know about it. Um, and if it happens, then, then you, you know what, what's gone, or gone wrong there. But I hope you've um, really enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you've liked seeing this gorgeous girl as always. A uh, boy, even I keep calling him a girl today. I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> He's not happy with that. He's manly as ever. Look at him. Manly snake. <laughs> He's too pretty to be a boy. That's why I call him a girl. He's far too pretty to be a boy. Look at him. Gorgeous. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. If you're new around you, make sure you subscribe. Smash that notifications bell if you haven't already. And drop us a like. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And it helps my videos be promoted to more and more people. Um, so my channel can gain popularity. If you have any video requests, please drop them in the comments below. It's always nice to hear from you anyway. I'll always answer back. Um, it's nice to chat with all my uh, all my 100 odd subs. <laughs> um, have a little chat with you, you know, a bit of banter, whatever. We can talk about whatever you want. Um, just have a little chat in the comments. I think that's great myself. I, I really enjoy that. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.